Luke Hatfield. I'm joined by a West Brom correspondent here at the Express Star, Mr. Matt Wilson. Matt, uh, one man who did very well for West Brom when he first came in, but one man who's now struggling a little bit, Gareth Barry. Uh, does he need a break? I think he does, yeah. I think um, he's been a bit of a lightning rod mm. for abuse in the last uh, couple of games. And, OK, you've got some extenuating circumstances there with the... Uh, you know, the trip to Spain and, and the controversies that happened there. Yeah. But we don't know all the details of that particular episode. Mm -hmm. And while every fan will have their own opinion on that, um, you know, I think you can't ignore what has happened in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think Saturday was his eight, 800th club game. Yeah. Um, and you don't become a bad player overnight. Mm -hmm. um, I do, though, think that his legs... Are starting to go, mm -hmm. and I don't think he can do the job in a two-man midfield. It's it's funny because about a month ago, him and Krakowiak were had this great flourishing partnership yeah. in midfield, but it just seems that the games this season have caught up with him. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of fans have, have vented their frustration at him. Obviously, he got booed off on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I know a few people have said that. As he went off, he was sarcastically clapping the fans. I personally, I watched that and I thought he started clapping as the fans, just before the fans were booing. So I yeah. think it looks sincere to me. I, mean, mm -hmm. I don't know, but it looks sincere to me. So, um, But I know a few people thought it, that there was some, no, another way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, whilst all the players do need to be held accountable for their performances, I think in Barry's situation... Um, you do also have to look at um, the head coach who's picking him in this too. Yeah. Um, when they're playing against you know a five-man midfield, and you know you feel sorry for Krakowiak who's doing the running of two men, and you feel sorry for Barry as well in, in some regards because mm -hmm. it's obviously can't keep up. I mean, in January he could, yeah. but it seems like maybe that festive period just had has taken its toll on him, and he could use a rest. That's it. And who do you bring in for him? Do you bring in Livermore, Jakob, maybe even Sam Field? He hasn't had too many chances. Yeah, all three of those would, would, would be okay. I mean, Jakob is a bit of a holding midfielder. And I think, as we've discussed before, I think mm -hmm. part of the problem is, is that you've got Krakowiak's holding mid as well. You've got yeah. a lot of people playing in the same position. Um, Livermore as well. I mean, he, he, he struggled earlier on this season. He, you know, again, he's not he's not a um, a creative midfielder, mm -hmm. uh, and neither is is young Sam Field really either. He he is more of a a deep lying playmaker, holding hold midfielder as well. So, I think that's the issue that mm -hmm. they haven't got many options fit. Yeah. If you had James Morrison fit, I would say that that would be an interest. I'd love to see Krakowiak and Morrison together, mm -hmm. but we you know he's not fit so. It's an interesting, it's an interesting conundrum. Um, but I do think if you're going to play Barry, you need you need maybe a three in there. And it's funny how it's gone full circle because if you remember when Pulis was in charge, yeah. we were you know pulling our hair out that he was um, kept playing the, the, this three man midfield. Mm -hmm. But then again, I suppose you just have to look at the recruitment and what why has the club got so many players that play in the same position? Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they've been unlucky with injuries. You know, you've got Chavity and Morrison out, but yeah. they've got you know four decent holding midfielders there um, yeah you have to look at that or why that's come about that's it so Gareth Barry looks like he could do with a break but plenty of names who could maybe fill the void but we'll have to see what Alan Pardew does this weekend for all the latest on Albion make sure you stay with us at expressandstar.com